My, our final speaker for this evening is uh, John Haran, who's from Justice for Refugees. Thanks, John. Woo! This moment is a crucial test of our nationhood, of who we are in Australia. Are we a society which recognises the humanity of all, or only of some? Are we a tru truly generous people, or do we resort to mean-spiritedness under pressure? Are we proud of our migrant heritage, or do we choose to ignore it when it suits us? Do we embrace our humanitarian responsibilities in the global world, or only seek to reap the rewards from global trade? Do we fundamentally believe that jeopardising the health and welfare of children and adults somehow makes us a better place, a better country? Can we seriously complain about budget deficits when we spend huge amounts of money enforcing government policy that contravenes international conventions? and for which we are constantly rewriting Australian law to legitimise the illegitimate. Australians are fundamentally good people, but we've had a decade and a half of rhetoric which has demonised asylum seekers to the point where many, if not the, the majority of Australians, believe the rhetoric as fact. How people arrive in Australia is irrelevant. The fact that they are here is the reality, and it is that reality that we need to deal with in a compassionate, generous, and just way. <laughs> the cruelty that our government is inflicting on individuals by detaining them in the harshest of conditions is unforgivable. However, the government does have the opportunity at this moment to right the wrong for 267 people. Through rewriting legislation and the subsequent High Court decision, the government has legitimised the illegitimate in the eyes of the law. But the government has the power to act in this moment, not on technical legal arguments, but on higher moral principles. So will it act for compassion over cruelty, for generosity of spirit over mean-spirited policy, for basic human rights over the denial of human dignity? We should not let this moment pass without action. All people of goodwill need to have our voices heard. Ultimately, truth will prevail, but it needs to prevail now. Not in a decade's time when we have royal commissions and apologies from future governments over our wrongs. <laughs> now is the time for 267 people to see that the face of Australia can be compassionate, generous and just. Now is the time for the Prime Minister and his government to do the right thing by this group of people. Now is the time for all of us to hold the government to account. Justice for Refugees SA calls on the federal government to act compassionately towards this group of 267 people. Let them stay.